Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. This first installment of seven minutes in the morning in the new year, 2018. I'm going to make sure I get that right for, uh, I don't know, how long does that take? Does it take about a month, a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of times saying it before you get it right consistently? I don't know, but 2018, 2018. First installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning in 2018. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you for being here. And hey, do me a favor. If you're watching live or watching on the replay, doesn't matter to me. Both of them are great. Now, I would appreciate it if you'd drop a comment down there. Just let me know that you were here. Say hi. Whatever. Um, those are always encouraging to me to get you set up so that Facebook will keep you plugged into the conversation that goes on in the comments after the video is over. Well, it is now officially the second day of January. I skipped out on you yesterday. It was New Year's. Got through the holiday. Got through the ball games. And now here we are back to work today. So, um, so that was a question for you. I know, um, there are a couple of regular uh, contributors, regular watchers here that are not big fans of New Year's resolutions. Well, I want to ask you, what do you do? What do you do to get in the right mindset for the new year? If it's not a resolution, that's fine. Um, Chris Brogan has a word or a phrase that he uses. Uh, another good friend of mine uh, does something very similar to that. So, what is it that you use to set your mindset for the new year? So this week and probably a good part of this month, we're going to be focusing on creating the 2018, creating the life you crave in 2018. And so we're kicking that conversation off by figuring out how do we know what that is? And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people get to 1130-ish on New Year's Eve and then start thinking about, you know, what they want to do differently. And they take this really super simple, super abbreviated, well, this worked well last year, I'll do more of that. Or they come up with some completely uh, unmeasurable, nebulous thing. I want to be happier in my job. I want to lose weight. I want to whatever. Right? So that's the first thing we're going to attack as we get started here into this new year. And if you did that, that's fine. I'll help you solve that problem. That's what I do. Uh, if you do have a good one, I'd love to hear it. Hey, either, you know, what's your word or phrase? How do you set your mindset for the new year? Is there something that you do? Uh, is there a word, a phrase, um, a vision that you drive to for the year? Whatever it is for you, share that down in the comments. Share that with the community. Let's uh, get see how many different ways we can get of attacking the new year. Um, for me, it tends to be um, a phrase, and I'm not. Uh, I'm also not. I'm not really stuck on it has to happen on the 1st of January or the 31st of December, but that they're, and so consequently, I'm not sharing mine yet. But, um, I will before the week's over. But it, it, as long as you have it, and this, look, this comes back to what I talk about a lot, right? You have to know the outcome you're trying to create. If you don't know the outcome that you're trying to create, you're just existing, right? And and you can't... Do I have it? I, I used to have a little sticky here with a great saying on that. You can't just exist. You have to live. And the only way you can live is to pursue the life you crave. That's it. It's not any more complicated than that, but it is that complicated. It's simple, but it's not easy. That's okay. We're going to get through that together this week. And uh, as we get started in 2018. So remember, uh, yeah, so remember, if you are watching live or on the replay, drop a comment down there. Let me know how you set your mindset for the new year. Um, 
And yeah, we'll go from there. Do just like Joe did. Hey, good morning, Joe. Thank you for being here. Happy New Year to you. No, actually not a new mic. Um, it's just not been in the frame. And I did get a new um, mixer panel. And so I'm trying to get this mixed into here. I'm not 100% happy with it yet, but it'll get better. Um, start with the smarter principle. So you might have to explain that a little bit. Smart goals, if that's similar to smart goals, I understand that. Uh, but tell us a little bit, Joe, about what that smarter principle is, how to share that, how we can implement that, how you implement it, uh, and that will be helpful. All right, so that's it for today. It is Tuesday, radio show day today, so i got to hop up out of here and get out in the cold. Man, is it cold outside. we got ice on the window. I think that's a sign that it's cold. The pool froze yesterday. That's really cold. And uh, that's what I'm going to go get out in to do the radio show. Be sure and tune into that, talkradioprentrepreneurs.com. Get you to the right Facebook page, uh, or you can listen, wtkiradio.com, if the stream's up and running. Okay, yeah, so Joe says uh, the smarter principle is setting smart goals, specific, measurable, uh, attainable, uh, <laughs> related. <clears throat> Realistic is what most people say. I say related. Uh, and time box. So that's a good one. I, and, and look, it, whatever the system is, all I'm doing right now is encouraging you to have a system. Get out of your head into the system. Trust the system. All right. Okay. That's it for today. Be back tomorrow. Be sure to leave your comment down there. Let me know what your, how you set your mindset for the new year. And oh, almost forgot the title for today. I envision a time when. Complete that for me. Put that down in the comments also. I envision a time when, or maybe if it works better grammatically for you, I envision a time where. Um, complete that phrase down there and use it to describe what you want 2018 to be. 12 months from now, we get to uh, the, the end of December of 2018. What do you envision... Some one of the seven aspects of your life look like. Right? Share one you want to pick. Doesn't matter. All right, that's it. Now I'm really going to end it. You guys have a great Tuesday. I'll talk to you in uh, a little less than an hour on the radio and talk to you here again in the morning. Take care.